After the Fed finally raised rates, the Dow was just 100 points away from the big 20,000. And here to recap it all with me is Matthew Cheslock from Virgie Financial. Hi, Matt. Thanks for joining me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, 2016 was certainly the year of surprises. However, the Fed raising rates yesterday wasn't necessarily one of them. So are investors concerned about that 25 basis points or what's going to happen in 2017? Uh, I think the concern, and we saw the sell-off yesterday, was due to what, the, what we're looking for in 2017. If they're talking two to three rate hikes, um, you know, that might put a little water on the rally here you know, as far as what we've looked for. Uh, but we've got to remember, we looked for two or three last year in 2016, and we didn't get them. So uh, I think the Fed is trying to get ahead of the inflation curve here a little bit, and that's why they're being so hawkish in this environment. Uh, but I think this one rate rise really didn't matter much. Now, what kind of interesting trades or trading action are you seeing during Fed week or gearing up for the holiday season? You know, this is historically a uh, very strong time of the year for the market. Retail can uh, have a tendency to do very well. Uh, shippers have historically done pretty well, at least in the, in the near term. Uh, but we're going to start to see some tax loss selling. So you could see some, uh, some industries or sectors that have been underperforming, underperform again, and then be bought up in early 2017. And one of those sectors may be biotech, and the other may be uh, we're seeing a little bit in gold today. And a lot of that's due to the dollar rally. The dollar appreciation is so strong today, we're seeing gold really suffer because of that. So those are some of the things that you're going to look for is tax loss selling in certain sectors uh, and maybe some profit taking in some of the other sectors. Finishing up the week, we do have a quadruple witching tomorrow. So is that going to stir up the volatility? Well, this will be the last time to, uh, if you're going to really want to tr try to put on a block trade going into the end of the year. You know, you're going to take advantage of that liquidity that we're going to have that'll be on the opening and the close. So uh, that'll probably be the last time for the year. The next two weeks will are primarily slow, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to have some volatility or some upside movement. But if you're going to look for volume, it's going to be tomorrow. Okay, so are we going to have a Santa rally or a Santa sell-off in the next couple of weeks? Oof. You know, I think we're going to get above uh, 20,000 in the Dow, definitely. I think that's a psychological number more than anything else. But uh, in the absence of any other major news, uh, whether it be political or from the uh, Trump camp, uh, you know, it, I think the trend is probably higher at least until his first 100 days in office.